Jeremy and <laughs> you forget your name. Mm-hmm. Your mouth is filled with fudge, isn't fudge. it? Mm-hmm. We were we were in Amish country yesterday and we got fudge. Lots of it. Rainbow Sherbert. What is your name? George. Hey George. <laughs> what in the world are we doing today? It's a surprise. Surprise. That's that's Arabic for her. she doesn't know. So let's find out together. What do you think we're gonna be doing? I don't know, but I'm gonna end up hating you. I said you would either love me or love to hate me after this, one or the <laughs> other. And you said, do I need boots? And I said, I don't think it really matters what you wear on your feet. You ready? Oh my God. Are you ready? I'm gonna, let me say a prayer first. Okay, ready? <laughs> let's bow in reverence. Are you taking me to my first storage unit? <laughs> I, do you think you're ready for a storage unit auction? I'll be there to record. Yeah. Baby, you got to bid. Keep all the high bidders low and be like, oh, uh-uh. I ain't bidding against that hottie McCott hot. Secret weapon. Did you figure out what we're doing yet? A corn maze? We're five minutes away. Did you figure out what we're doing yet? Pumpkin picking? We're definitely close to Ramsire Farm, but those aviators are going to come in handy. You look the part, baby. You look the part. I look the your aviators and your boots. Or getting on an airplane? Leaving on an airplane. I don't know if we'll be back again. We're going skydiving. Do you want to go skydiving? <laughs> We're at the Wayne County Airport. You ready to go skydiving? No way. I don't think so. You're going to be okay. <laughs> Just wear those aviators and your boots and you'll be fine. <laughs> What do you think we're doing? Did you figure it out yet? You're about to propose to me through the haze. There's going to be like a secret message. And the only way to see it is in an airplane. Really? Yeah. Up in the sky? Hmm. Looking down. There's a message in the corn. Baby. Yes. We haven't even been seeing each other for three months. I know, but you like to rush into things. <laughs> Wait, I do? You try to kiss me on the first date, and I was like, whoa! And then you wanted to be my fake wife on the third date. <laughs> no. The fake wife thing came later on. Oh, okay. Because some girl asked you on Facebook if, if you'll marry her. That's right, I forgot about that. And you're like, well, I'm already married. And I was like, can I be your fake wife? <laughs> That's right. I told her I was married. Mm-hmm. So she'd leave me alone. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. See, my memory's not that bad. So what are we going to do? We're going to go up on a plane. You're so predictable, babe. We're going to go on a plane and there's a hidden message in the cornfields. So in order to read it, I got to look down. Well, let's find <laughs> out what happens.
so you flew. <laughs> and, Briefly. And we're, Briefly. we're still alive. We're still alive. You still got your aviators. Yes. Uh, at one point, we attempted zero G, which is zero gravity. So you go straight up in the airplane, and then you cut the engine, and you go straight down. And what happens is you float, and everything in the airplane floats. Be it's just like you're an astronaut in space. So zero G, zero gravity. And how'd that make you feel? Did that make your tummy happy? <laughs> <laughs> it made my tummy queasy. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. And Jeremy knows I don't like roller coasters and I get motion sickness but yet he insisted on zero gravity why must you torture me babe you love it and you know it so this has been Jeremy and George with HJH Adventures thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and rem wait wait hold a second this is your line <laughs> adventure awaits go find it there you go she just puked and won't let <laughs> <laughs> Don't do zero G's with your woman. Never do zero G's. Don't bomb.